first of all if you want to add a rectangle border don't search for the rectangle borders as a graphic here instead make use of these shapes you want to add a simple shape rectangle or corner rounding here and uh, first remove the colors to make it transparent next click on this border style to add some border weight and you can adjust the corner rounding from here as well once you do that you can adjust this however you want and resize it to fit your designs so that's a simple border but if you're adamant to use graphic rectangle border there is still a workaround let me delete this one okay let us say now i'm going to add a graphic rectangle border like this one you can see that there's no adjusting option here at the edge we can only do like this one and this doesn't fit my design and there's a gap here on the left and right sides so how do i do this i first resize this to keep it somewhere in between and click on this crop option and then i'll use the free form to create a cropping area in between this section and just say done if not i know the size of my template design here so i'll also click on 16 is to 9 ratio and then click done once we are here without clicking anywhere just hit on this border style and add a border weight and now you can actually fit the design it's the same design if you can click this i button you can see that it's the same black frame rectangle border but we are still able to extend this to fit our design what's happening here is the crop area is getting its own border style and the original frame remains in the background so that way we are able to spread this to our design now what happens if you want to add a pattern border that doesn't have a width tool in the center edges like how we saw right now like this graphic now you can see that this pattern borders or anywhere that you find under the graphics tab is either a image or a photo first we will see how to adjust the image it is similar to how we did now okay now let me find a border pattern let's see now uh, we'll pick this one now we are not able to fit this anywhere on the sides so now how do we do this first i'll add this uh, on the left side of the design next i duplicate this and add it to the right side now immediately we want to crop this and make sure this is free form and adjust this to just show on the right side same way we will do this for the left side of the design make this as a free form cropping and adjust this like this one let's keep it till here and now we can see that the border is now completely covering the entire design now lastly make sure that select all the design and group them so you can adjust the size however you want it if you want to keep it in the center you can still do that and this happens when we group both these designs so that's how we do it when the border is an image but sometimes you might like a border pattern which may not be an image but it could be a photo like this one so this is a photo now this being a photo the photo borders won't have detailed crop variants you can see that there's no crop option here but it might show this edge option here but which when we use it might not work to our satisfaction however arrange your photo border such that it is positioned correctly on two sides next double click inside so that you can see the outside corners and uh, now hold the shift key and drag these corners to fit it inside your template this will position your entire photo border perfectly to fit your template this technique should work for any border which is a photo.